Well, good morning and happy Independence Day. Before we jump into our devotional thought for today, I just wanted to take a brief moment and recognize the significance of this day. On July 4th, 1776, our founding fathers signed their names to the Declaration of Independence, breaking ties with England and sparking the Revolutionary War. Because of their bravery and boldness, we stand here today as Americans, free to govern ourselves and to worship the God we choose. One of my favorite presidents and one of the greatest architects of our founding documents, President John Adams, said this, The general principles on which the fathers achieved independence were the general principles of Christianity. I will avow that I then believed and now believe that those general principles of Christianity are as eternal and immutable as the existence and attributes of God. What a statement. With those general principles in mind, I want to turn our thoughts today to the Word of God and consider how the Lord should impact our thinking as we live and breathe today. Have you ever been in a situation where you knew what was right, but you did the wrong thing anyway? What happened? Well, you probably paid a price, right? And the penalty was probably greater because you knew what you were supposed to do, but you deliberately and knowingly did the opposite. So you had no excuse. Well, in Romans 1, 21 through 23, Paul describes a group of people just like that. He says they are people who knew God, but did not honor Him as God or give thanks to Him. In other words, they had no regard for God, even though they knew Him. And what was the result? Their hearts were darkened by their sin and their minds were corrupted. And in their rebellion, they thought themselves wise, but they were foolish according to God. And they ended up worshiping the creation. They worshipped things like money, possessions, passions, and even idols and false gods. All of this because they refused to worship God whom they knew, and they went their own way. The Bible says that there is a way which seems right to a man, but its end is destruction. So I urge you, don't refuse God. Read His Word and trust in Him. Obey Him that you may be blessed and that your heart and mind may be clean from the stain of the world. Change Begins in You. The Change Begins in You is brought to you in part by Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville, Patrick Allen Companies, Mitchell Tire and Wrecker in Collinsville, and Mountie Cabinetry.